So you want to actually be able to play your games instead of just watching them? You must be insane. Well, okay. Here's how you do it. In STL, we're going to use key states, as it will allow us to detect more than one key being pressed at a time. First, we'll have a U int 8 reference, and set that equal to STL get key state with null as the parameter. This makes it an array of keys currently being pressed. We will do this every loop. When we go to check if it's being pressed, we use if key and then the key name like SDLK down. For example, here's how you might write the code for player movement. The up, down, left, and right arguments I have for the player move function are just enumerations or integers with names. Also note that if you have else if key left instead of just if key left, your character will not be able to move diagonally. The way I have it right now, the player can move vertically and horizontally in the same cycle. However, this will make your player move twice as fast when moving diagonally, so it'd probably be better to check if right and up, and then half the speed before moving them. You can go to this page for a list of all the keys in SDL. Here are a few common ones. Well, that was a short video. Next, we're displaying graphics.